Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like for me to live with Asperger's Syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you that um, have an ASD or are on the spectrum. I also will reach out to family members, friends, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody out there in the community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about. But before I dive into this afternoon's topic, I have quite a few things to mention, and there are more than two. So first and foremost, please be sure to click up here in the upper right hand corner. This is a video through the Oprah Winfrey Network YouTube channel. And this is uh, RJ Pete, who is the uh, son of uh, Holly Robinson Pete from the show Pete's Sake. Now this is a reality series and uh, their son RJ is on the spectrum and he is 19 years old and I talked about him in the last video. And the name of the video is called um, Am I Autistic Still? And I really like this video because uh, there's a time where people on the spectrum question who they are and I question who I was. I wanted to know at some point, am I cured of my autism just by growing out of it? And so uh, I really think that this video is very interesting. And it also shows you that autism does not just uh, contained to people who are white. It is a diverse situation and it is worldwide. So please be sure to check it out. A second thing I would like you guys to do as always is check out my scholarly and practical application type vlogs on wordpress.com. And you can find these under hello world 240 at wordpress.com. That's hello world 240 at wordpress.com. And finally, I wanted to let you guys know that we have an autism conference coming up at the beginning of May right here in Atlanta. And we are uh, reaching out to those in the state of Georgia alone and probably in the Southeast that are on the autism spectrum. And we in particular are looking for nine more people uh, to volunteer and we call it our ACE ambassador program. And if you would like to know more about that, please be sure to check out the links below and also be sure to check me out on social media. But anyway, what I wanted to do is uh, continue to give my two cents on the media because I heard Whoopi Goldberg talk about that we need to save as many kids with autism as possible. And I wanted to uh, throw it out there because I would like to talk about my own version about how we should save kids with autism. Well, first and foremost, no. You're not going to save people with from autism by curing them because first of all, autism, yes, it's an, it's a quote epidemic, but it is not cancerous and these kids are not dying unless there is an underlying condition. Rather, uh, mom and dad, aunt, uncle, um, teachers, whoever, what we need to do is uh, start uh, accepting and respecting the person and uh, you need to remember that uh, you have to work with what you've got. So I've been learning that uh, when someone has autism, you need to uh, expose them to as many things as possible. According to my hero, Dr. Temple Grandin, uh, because she said that the way that uh, they saved her from autism wasn't because of some cure, it was some, that made her go presto changeo, now she's a doctor. No, no, they let her uh, be autistic, but they also uh, taught her all kinds of manners and rules and they figured out how she could learn to communicate. And they also figured out workarounds while exposing her to new things and stretching her. And also, I mean, not forcing the issue, but basically giving her a choice about uh, one about something like for instance when she went to go stay at her aunt's ranch uh, her mother gave her a choice she could go for a week or stay all summer and she ended up loving it out there and that's what um, drove her passion into her career with cattle so that is exactly how you're going to save autism no i uh, when i moved down here to atlanta 
My aunt, uh, it, you know, snapped me out of the world of movies and cats by slowly introducing me to things like uh, having me read the newspaper uh, when I would uh, ride the bus and we would talk about these topics at dinner. And uh, she let me know what things she was interested in and things she was not interested in regarding the newspaper. And another thing that she did was uh, get me interested in opera and taking me to, um, to orchestra and also uh, just exposing me to lots of new things and also teaching me uh, to be independent while helping me to take baby steps. And most of all, she taught me to focus on what I could do versus what I can't do. And uh, sure, she's still mentoring me today and still encouraging me uh, to uh, make the right choices even though I'm 35 now and I'm uh, pretty much uh, learning how to uh, set my own schedule and grow up. So anyway, I'm out of time. I first of all would like to let you guys know that there are new videos every Sunday and Monday. Um, if you like what I'm talking about, please be sure to uh, click thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and uh, post in be post below and share these on social media. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off.